Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of CA Talks, our podcast, and today I'm Lauren Spencer, your lead host, and I'm with my co-host, Dia Fallon, and we have our special guest, Professor Juan. Hi everyone. He is our math teacher here at Central Campus, but he was originally an engineer and now he has a career here at College Academy, so we're going to be getting into a little bit of that later on, but first off, we are going to talk about just a few things that are happening on campus that you guys should mark your calendars for coming up. So first we have on Friday, February 10th is gonna be the JA Career Bound Workshop. And then, well, something about the JA Career Found Workshop, <laughs> that's, not, that's not just a career workshop, okay? That's a leadership workshop. I did a little bit of research and they uh, get you into a, a host company and get you in a group to lead about a problem, real world, that is affecting that company. It's a lot more than just a simple expose about any sort of career. Real world experience. Something that'd be great for some high schoolers that are about to go in the real world. Uh, and we will talk a little bit about job experience later today with our special guest. But in the meantime, Tuesday, February 14th, it's also early release Valentine's Day and a day of love and service. Alrighty, and then February, February, wow, Friday, February 17th, we do not have any school. And that's not just regular Friday, no school. That's, no one will be here on Friday. Don't, don't show up. The school is closed. And on February 20th, we have the red day. That's a Monday. So that means there will be school, unlike Friday. You got to show up, except there will be no buses or any free meals. That is due to the actual public schools not meeting. Uh, still, find your ride here. There'll be a bit less traffic if you want to drive. Uh, make sure you're on campus for your classes. Yeah, do not skip just because your friends don't have school. And then, on Wednesday, March 1st, we have Junior's SAT Day. Be prepping, guys. Make sure you guys are studying. Go to your Friday Cares, because that's a big day coming up for you guys. Do your tutoring. There's going to be a lot of tutoring opportunities. I'll be there, too. You can meet me in person, and I'll talk to you about how to read. Uh, and the SAT is very important. It's not something you should shirk off if you don't think you're going to do too well or if you already have a uh, good enough SAT to get bright futures. Keep on trying. There's a lot of good opportunities, a lot of better schools you can get into if you do well on the SAT. And you can also get bright futures on the first try with this one, so it's free. Try to, try to do your best with this one, okay, guys? Yeah. Alrighty, but that is all the important dates that we have so far for you guys, so make sure you guys mark that in your calendar. But now we're just going to talk more about Professor Wong. So how are you today? Pretty good. Nice to have to, uh, to be here. Okay, meeting you. gotcha. Nice host here. Did you like our uh, assembly today? Was it fun? It was a wonderful, wonderful experience, and everybody had fun. And um, it's so nice to, as a teacher, to see kids you know, enjoy each other, talking, talking to each other interact with each other, especially students from the north and the, and the central. Yeah. You know, think about it, other than this kind of opportunity, what else chance you can interact with each other? I know, so yeah. it's also great when like the buses come and everyone's able to come together yes. and we could do the same for them. And it's the nice. pizza, don't forget. The pizza always, always the yes. most exciting part. <laughs> <laughs> the food. <laughs> I didn't uh, get any pizza. This, this is oh. about the, the January soon assembly. This comes out a little bit later. I had to do Dungeon Dragon, so I left as soon as the assembly was over. We'll make it up for you next time. Yeah, we got you. I'll, I'll, <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you, I'll call you. But I never had you as a math professor, but I know Dia did. But I did join your um, SAT uh, like Friday Care Zoo. Hmm, I remember. So, I mean, I had a good time there, but um, what class did you take with him? Uh, I, I took all my math classes, Professor Wong. All three, right? Yep. Cottage Algebra, Pre-Cal, uh, pre-cal, pre-cal and Trick. Uh, I think it was just pre-calc and trig. I already okay, took start. College Academy through dual enrollment. I see. Yeah, but I, I stuck true, uh, blue blood through and through, Mr. Wong. <laughs> and he's a very good teacher, too. Any juniors out here that got this guy, you're in good hands, okay? And any prospective students, make sure you sign up. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, but now we just want to talk about like your before college academy days. Okay. So my one, previous life. Yes, your yeah. previous <laughs> life, the old you. Your alter ego. Yeah. My alter ego. You bring it back. Yeah, the engineering days. So okay. first, we want to like, what college did you go to? Um, well, let me start with um, <coughs> with my undergrad. Mm -hmm. My undergrad, uh, I was in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. um, my major was uh, mechanical engineering. And then I emigrated. Uh, I came to the U.S. for my graduate study. Uh, got my master from Auburn University mm -hmm. in 1991. Mm. Okay, I spent one and a half years there. And then later on, I received uh, my second master in pure math from University of West Florida in Pensacola. And some of you might be, might might be, might have been there. Pensacola, they have a beautiful beach there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's yes. where everyone goes for a little weekend vacation. But like you said, you, you majored in mechanical engineering yes. and then pure math. Pure math, yes. What made you like transition from well, when you were doing your master's? Okay, um, it's a long story, but let's make the long story short. Um, it's based on the situation, situation change. Um, after I got my master's degree in 1991, uh, at the time, I, was, I, only had, I didn't even have a green card. So I won't be able to stay here uh, to work legally. So I decided to, to go back. Uh, while at the same time, my, my green card has already, already been on, on the process already. So I just going back there to s start working in mechani mechanical engineering mm -hmm. field while at the same time wait for my, my green card to em emigrate back. Okay, so, and, and then after I got back in 1993, if I remember correctly, so <clears throat> at the time the economy was, really was not good. Mm -hmm. it, it is a slowdown in, in the economy. So at the time, job opportunity were kind of, kind of scarce. Yeah. Okay, it's kind of difficult to, to find a job. but. But when you come to, for, for new immigrants, you might have known, the first day you come to this country, the f your livelihood is right, face you right on. You need to take care of your, your, your livelihood, how to make a living, how to survive. Mm -hmm. So in order to, to make a living, so at a time I got a job as an adjunct, mm -hmm. adjunct professor in Pensacola Junior College because my sister, uh, she has been a professor there. So I landed a, a job in Pensacola Junior College. It's an adjunct job. Adjunct, as, as you know, is, a, is a just temporary, mm -hmm. temporary base. So from that, so while at a, I was teaching there, at the same time, I keep on applying for for engineering job. But things does you know, Situation hasn't changed for, for for quite some time, but I just couldn't wait. So I quickly changed my career, career uh, direction. I went back to uh, college, went to University of West Florida to s start with my second master degree. So in one and a half years, I, I received it. So I started my teaching career from then. Okay. Yes. So, so in a sense, situation, you know, makes you change your 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 life life direction mm -hmm. okay so the way i look at it yeah and you might have heard this one before one door is closed usually you will find another door yeah okay and guess what ever since i started teaching at the time at, at junior college i just fell in love with i just fell in love with with the, the teaching because the kind of interaction with the student is is um is what I miss in the engineering job. Okay, the interaction. Interaction, yeah. yes, okay. especially in the inter, on the higher inter level, intellectual uh, level. So when you did like engineering, it was just like pastime, but then you discovered your passion for teaching. N no, actually, I okay. At the time, I went back to to work as as engineering job. At the time, that's what I what I decided to to do. Yeah. To, Pursue because I have spent so much time my undergrad, four years, uh, graduate degree, one and a half years, five and a half years. I'm not going to give up. Mm -hmm. So, my goal at the time is continue working in engineering job. But, 
you know, just because I was waiting for my green card. So I know this job is, is not going to be, be long, mm -hmm. but how long is it? Who knows? So and after I came back to, to the United States, my goal is also finding a job in the, in the, um, in the engineering field. Gotcha. Yeah, just does, things didn't pan out. But still, you find your find yeah. the passion at the end. And find out, you know, teaching actually is even more interesting than okay. the engineering job. So, okay. Okay, and cool. I, I see you have a couple of uh, photos there. Yes, yeah. I did. Um, this is uh, unfortunately this is one of the two pictures that, that I took uh, in my job. So I'm not sure how, how we can show it to our audience. We could definitely put it up while we're editing, but you could just still show it here. Okay. Oh, it's so small. I <laughs> yeah, can't. So small. <laughs> I can run up and, and show okay, it. Okay, show it for, for several seconds so people have an idea what, what yeah. it looks like. So, what was in this photo? So, on this photo um, is a water turbine. Water turbine basically is the, the pretty much the heart of a hydraulic. Uh, um, power. Okay, we use uh, water in different level, different elevation. The the, the ele elevation drop, in order to create electricity. Mm -hmm. How it works? Okay, there are two major components. One the, the the one on top of the other. The top one is the generator. The bottom one is the <clears throat> is the water turbine. Water turbine looks like a spiral, look like a um, you know a spiral shape. Uh, and the water coming from higher higher elevation goes into the the water turbine. Okay, but the water turbine goes spiral shape. While in the process, the diameter diameter getting smaller and smaller. And where does the excessive water go? Well, on the inside of the spiral, I'm not sure you, you can see right here. There are a lot of small windows over here. So the excessive water pretty much got squeezed out in the process because diameter from large to small, mm -hmm. water got squeezed out. So while water got squeezed out, in the middle, we're going to put a shaft, a shaft with a propeller, with blades. So the excessive water pretty much just propelled the, the shaft to rotate in, the, in this kind of ro rotary motion. Well, what, what's on top of the... So spiral over here, generator over here. There's a spiral in here, excessive water causing the shaft to rotate, and therefore the gen generator use it, use the motion to create electricity. Yeah. <laughs> so for instance, like Hoover Dam, Hoover Dam, I'm not sure, I, th I believe there are eight, eight identical, if I were not wrong, eight identical uh, water turbine in there. But the project that I, that I did, there were, there were four, there were four water turbine units. So this picture pretty much is my work environment is a mountain, totally duck hollow. Inside we put four four units, and my job. My job is a pipe. My work title is a piping engineer. Mm -hmm. So my job is to install, pre-install, um, hundreds of pipes and tubes, uh, on the premise. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need to put the piping, measure the, the exact location in the open, big open space like a football field. Mm -hmm. you need, there are more than 200 different pipe, kind of pipe you need to put, erect it at the correct, uh, uh, exact correct location. Mm -hmm. Because once we finish the, the, the piping work, we need to pour concrete. Each time we pour concrete will, will be like three feet high. But guess what? If you make any mistake, once the con concrete is, is poor, once it is cured, there's no you cannot correct your mistake. Yeah. So it is a very tedious, n yeah, tedious and intense job. Yeah, you check and double check, make sure the number of the, the piping, make sure it's the correct, the diameter is correct, the location is correct, the accuracy is correct, because the room for error is really, really small. Okay, so once you get it wrong. Uh, almost there is no way to fix. Okay. So we basically pour concrete three feet at a time. It takes about a month to cure. So start building up, fitting the, 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 the piping on top of that, pour another second layer, layer after layer, until we, we reach the, this platform. Mm -hmm. And then we put the water turbine on top. At the, at the last step, 
put the generator on the very top. Okay, so that was like that was like mostly what you did when you. That's what I did. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. And then, what was like your journey as a professor like? Um, I oh, I would say very rewarding. Okay. Yeah. Yes, uh, you know that's what kept me going for so long. This is my twenty eighth years mm-hmm. um, of teaching. I didn't know that. I will retire in two years. Really? And I will miss you guys. <laughs> okay, yeah. All right. Thank God okay. we had you. <laughs> yes. Yes. You know what? In order to keep on going for 28 years, God, it has to be something that I truly like. Mm-hmm. Okay, the same thing I hope for my student. Find a true passion, find a, a career that can really please you on a daily basis. Um, so this is what keeps me going. It's good, but what yes. would you say like to students who are unsure about their career or maybe found a career but still haven't had, like found the passion for it yet? Um, so this is actually the two question. The first one, how to find your career direction. Okay, let's say, let's call that career direction. Um, a short answer, try to expose yourself. Like today, d- during the, the assembly, we talk about you know, the, the internship, the summer job opportunity. Mm-hmm. These are the opportunity that you can actually truly emerge yourself in to see the, the you know, the action on the ground. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's the, the most direct way. But unfortunately, at this time, a lot of students, because I went through when, when I was your age, what was my interest? What should I do? What should I do in, in my life? Um, in retrospect, I probably I, did, I would do this way. And this is also what I r- suggest to, to, to our students. At this time, if you at this time still don't know what your career path might be try just try to be alert okay don't just const- okay pretty much you need to finish your your common courses within the first two years of your college mm-hmm. so pretty much start starting from the third year you need to go into your spe- specialized field for instance my mechanical engineering my first freshman junior year pretty much is common courses okay and then oh by the way math and physics are the most basic it's the basic of the basic if you are stem major anyway the third year your your junior year you start taking your your specific courses in your area i start taking numerical analysis you know um static and and, uh, dynamic things things like this so my suggestion to student is at this time since you have no reference point and you have no, all you know is a different area, okay, different job title. What, what does those job entail? You may not have an idea. So I would say, do not put the, the whole thing in the back burner. Constantly remember this thing within the, these first two years. Whenever you have a chance, you run into someone, maybe it's your, your, your mother's f- friend, maybe it's a family guest, when they come to your house, whenever there is a chance, they're talking about, oh, what kind of job you do? Uh, and then they, they would, they tell you, oh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, a pharmacist. Okay, well, tell me about, about it, things like this. Mm-hmm. Just be alert. Do not let these two years go by without being conscious about this issue. Mm-hmm. Okay, because two years can go by very quickly. Toward the, at the end of the two years, it's time for you to decide on your major. Oh, I didn't even know this. Oh, I just, I just remember, what, what should I do? You should have done for during these two years. Be alert. Whenever there is a chance, run into someone knowing that their, their profession. Hey, can you tell me more about it? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's one way. Um, read some, for instance, read a newspaper. Sometimes there, there are a lot of scenarios. There will be job description. In the, okay, for instance, uh, an article described uh, telling you a story. Also, they depict what the person did. You know, things like this, big or small, piece by piece. It's not one shot deal. Oh, I want to find out what pharmacists will do. Within 10 minutes, I'll get everything. No, it's not like that. Here and there, today, I, I learned something about, oh, uh, software engineering, they, what, what, what their daily life is, daily job is like. And tomorrow I learn about uh, a, a surgical uh, a surgeon, what, 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 what their job entails, things like that. It's bit by bit. Gradually, within a long period of time, meaning these two years, you pretty much you will feel, ah, oh, maybe my 
inclination, my ability, my interest is in toward that direction. Find out the direction first, mm -hmm. and then from that direction, because in one direction, there are many, many jobs. For, just for instance, medical. Can be surgeon, can be podiatrist, can be hand doctor, can be neurologist, can be pediatrician, can be, uh, can be, vet, can be, can be back doctor, mm -hmm. Sammy. And then, once you find out the big direction first, and then slowly, of course, it's not one shot deal. Over time, your picture will, will, will be clear. Which direction, which is specific training, you will find most interesting. Mm -hmm. And also one, one last thing, uh, a lot of time people will, will suggest, oh, okay, watch TV. Yes, TV program, will, TV drama will give you a lot of information about what a job will, will be like on a, on a daily basis. But be aware, TV drama, the reason we call that drama is really dramatic. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of time they won't tell you the 100% the truth, but mm -hmm. you need to see through that. So for instance, being an ER doctor is not that wearing a, a, a clean gown, doing the five seconds, two seconds, three, two, three, three, three. it's not that dramatic. It, it, is, it is intense job, but there are some, some part of, of the job may not be that pretty, okay? Um, for instance, audience, bear with me. Uh, a friend of mine, many years ago, he had a car accident. Um, on, the, on the side of the road, he was still awake. He was conscious. He found out from the, from the abdomen, abdomen, abdomen down, everything's wide open. Mm -hmm. All the guts w w was, was out. So he witnessed the, 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 the EMT people coming here to help him put it back, put him back, okay? And then the EMT even tripped over because the, the blood was slippery. And he told me, at the time, he can smell the, the, the bloody smell of his own blood. Things like this. Just Im Im envision, as a doctor, you, are, you will be on the other side of, of, yeah, of the... Yeah, not the pretty side at all. Well, it's not pretty side either, because your job is going to sew up the, the person. Things like this. So when you rely on TV drama to give you a picture, the picture might be skewed. Okay, so you got to see through that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Audience, I apologize to, to bring out the, this, the, this uh, unpleasant scenario, okay? But, but it's I hope the truth. Like, you have to really look into, like, your career because it's not going to be everything that you see. That's true. Mm -hmm. You need to weigh both sides. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for, oh, welcome. like, letting us know, like, giving us so much, like, really, like, valuable information. Yeah. Like, even just from, like, your engineering side and just learning like how to figure out your because you're right like you do have to pay attention to like everything around you because like someone could be doing something so rare but that could be meant for you but you just like need to have a conversation exactly with someone about it. every piece of information helps yeah even this like just listening to this like yeah. someone out there could realize that they would want to do what you did yeah so. and even the ugly bits are important because uh if you're going into surgery there you are going to have to put somebody's insides Back inside. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. That's true. Right. <laughs> and welcome to Factor Fiction for episode 11. Today we've got our two guests here that will be playing this game. As you all know by now, although I guess I'll go over the details, we will present three questions and it's up to you two to decide if they are fact or fiction. What if I got wrong? Would, would that make me look bad? It would make you look pretty bad. <laughs> help are, me, help me. These are engineering-based <laughs> questions. Understand. So, for question number one, all engineers love math. Fiction. Is it yes or no? Depends. Fact depends fiction. on. Depends on how you look at it. Yeah, I feel like some people. Let me join the lady. <laughs> Let me join the lady. Yeah. I feel like some people like are good at it obviously but they're definitely not yeah. every, not every engineer loves it well let me put it this way you have to be good at it yeah uh passionate or not it depends on the person but you got to be good <laughs> to succeed well you're lucky that's that was fiction although engineers do have to take a lot <laughs> of math as evidence uh, engineering students have many talents and skills that go inside art design english science skills all of that goes into play, not just math. Yeah. That's true. 
Now, second, engineers work mostly with people. Engineer, you mean their job wise? Job wise. I mean, I'm sure they like consult with a lot of people, but I'm not sure day to day work with them. Well, my answer is also yes or no. Depends on what kind of engineering job you're doing. Yeah, some job may a lot of time you deal with machine a lot. Some you deal with a lot with with with, with your engineer, pure engineer. But still, like people working in R and D, research and development. Okay, you cannot disregard the reality and just do your design because your design may not come come out practical. So it depends on your job. <laughs> Some has a lot of involvement with, with machine. Some have to have, have. Some really, really depends on different job. Are you going fact or fiction? Because I'm going to start oh, with you. Oh, facts or fiction. True let, or let, me call, let me call it fiction then. Well, I'm going to say fiction too. <laughs> sorry to say, as the writer puts it, that's a fact. Oh, Engineers no. do work mostly with people. And the engineering field, many people think it's about working solely with machines or building technology. But oftentimes you have to work in a team. That's like with true. Your, uh, That's very true. With your turbine project, it'd be pretty difficult for one guy to yeah. lay down all those pipes. <laughs> That's and true. Concrete. Sorry, my, my, my crew, I forgot about you. <laughs> well, question number three. Once you pick your major, there is no going back. Oh, false. Fiction. False, absolutely fiction. fiction. My yes. brother changes major like four times. You sure? And look at me. <laughs> I'm a living example. Well, that would be true. That is fiction. In fact, here at CA, you don't even have to take your major yet. This is all AA courses. Mm -hmm. This is, as Mr. Wong pointed out, these are your two years of core credits. This is your time to explore, take opportunities, and go around places. And even once you go to your university or college of choice, you still have every opportunity to change your majors mm -hmm. and even go back to school and change right. it once again. Yeah. That's true. And one thing, let me, I know we don't maybe not have too much time. Let me point out, um, a lot of the ideal case is what? You start, you, you start a career with, of your own training. That's the, the, the ideal case. Mm -hmm. But in a lot of situations, it may not be true. Yep. So a lot of times the people, you know, situation change that force you to, to look, look, start a, a different, go by, the, go through a, how to say, to start a, a new path. There is no telling. Life is just too unpredictable. Yep. All, the only thing you can do is do the right choice, make the right choice at the right moment. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I can guarantee you, that your life will be successful. Do the best, make the right decision at the right time. Right. Well, that was it for Factor Fiction. Two out of three, that's not too bad. Not too bad. Right. <laughs> so where's our certificate? Uh, uh, there you go. <laughs> there we go. Uh, you keep the phone Here's up. your certificate. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, right here. Everybody smile. <laughs> we won. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for being on. I believe after this, we have our student spotlight. Thank you for being with us. Really Mr. glad Wong. to be here. Thank and you I so hope much. I can come back some other time. Thank you. Right. No, thank you. Bye-bye, right, right. guys. Welcome back to the Student Spotlight. Uh, the lead host, Lauren, had to leave. So we got our guest host here, Hi, as I'm well here. as today's Student Spotlight. Hi, guys. Eric, a junior at CA. It's a pleasure to be here. All right, not bad. All right. So uh, I, I ask this to every junior that comes mm -hmm. on here. Uh, have you joined any clubs yet? Of course I've joined clubs. Um, so... There's a lot of clubs at CA, but mainly the clubs I've been in are Model UN, mm -hmm. uh, Pre Med Club, Medical Volunteer Club, and UNICEF. Ooh, right. UNICEF. And which? Okay, we don't we don't like picking favorites. <laughs> but which is your? What, which one? If you had to pick one of them to attend, which one would it be, and why? Mm. I would say. No hate to okay. <laughs> <laughs> if the other clubs are watching this, no hate to you guys. Probably. Yeah, it's a tough one. Yeah, this is I I don't I can't answer I can't answer. But if I'm stuck between the two, probably pre med and model UN. Mm -hmm. Shout out to you guys. <laughs> Anyone want to shout out inside the club? Oh, okay. <laughs> pre med club shout out Megumi, Isa, 
Rebecca, Justin, Marina, and I didn't, I missed, I didn't see it. And then Model UN. Shout out Marina, Juan. Yeah, that's really. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, anybody want to shout down? Shout yeah. down? Everyone else. Everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Now, otherwise, on campus, academically, how's your first uh, semester been? Honestly, the first semester was, it was a, I think it went very well, actually. I, I expected it to be very, like, tough, but I feel like all the faculty members made it, like, very, a, a very smooth experience. So, like, the tutoring options and, like, mm-hmm. coming in the office, that helped a lot. So, I think definitely it was a very smooth like first, the first semester is like leading you in. Exactly. And then yeah. now you have like chemistry and you have. Yeah, all the hard things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that's going to get a little bit harder. But you the first semester. the tutorial. Yes. Exactly, yeah. And now you get now you get into the nitty gritty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The first semester was great, though. I loved it. Yeah. yeah honestly. So uh, now, before the first semester, in that like summer between 9th and 10th, wait, 10th and 11th. 10th and 11th grade, yeah. What was it like going from your old high school to now here? Okay, there's a, there's a lot of differences, but over the summer, I didn't really, I kind of, I was already set on going into College Academy, so I didn't really think about it too much, so I actually, I I left the States for a little bit, and I visited Korea for a little bit, so I was just there for a little bit, I was just there, and yeah, I was just visiting family, and I came back, and it didn't really hit me until, it didn't really hit me, hit me that I was going to CA until like a couple of days before orientation, so much yeah. yeah well uh how was it like getting new friends here you know you are going to oh it's new amazing school. yeah all the people here are amazing honestly mm-hmm. i thought i wasn't i thought okay so i came here with two of my other friends tiago oh i forgot to shout them out <laughs> shout, shout out tiago shout out Deborah. so i came here with both of them so i thought it was just going to be us three the entire time I, I wasn't going to make any new friends but honestly like the friends just came by my side naturally i feel like so it's like Ever since I came to CA, I really didn't think I was gonna connect to other people. I was like, you know, I'm just gonna like hang out with my old school friends and just go to CA just to do school. But honestly, the friends I made here are honestly one of the the gen- most genuine, nicest people I've met. Mm-hmm. So I think that's I think that's one of the best parts of CA is that people from different parts of the schools just all meet up in one place and everyone's just such, such like wonderful people. So I think that's the best part. It's also beneficial when you share like four classes with them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that has, <laughs> <laughs> that definitely has to. There's like 200 people here. Yeah. It, it happens, okay? Yeah. You know or at least know of just about everyone. In exactly, yeah. We're all like a, one big family, you know? Yeah. yeah. Now, uh, talked about clubs, talked about friends. There's going to be some uh, incoming juniors. We we will naturally pass on. Yeah, not we dead. We're not dead, but we will... Move to high school. Man, so well, that's that's being a bit school. presumptuous. <laughs> <laughs> but you will take our place yeah. as incoming seniors. Yeah, exactly. What do you have to say for any juniors that perhaps watch this in a year's time hmm. that will now be in your very same yeah. place? Hmm. There's a lot of things I want to say, but I'm just going to keep it simple. I feel like one word that best describes CA is opportunity. So what I would recommend is taking every opportunity you see and going for it so mm-hmm. it doesn't hurt to try for anything you do so why not go for it you know so if you wanted to join that model un club but you're a little h- held back in your past school take that step forward and go join that model un club student advisory council principal advisory council all these different leadership positions that you can take part of junior year go and do that because then you will set like your foundation on junior year and when senior year comes you know, I, I'm not there yet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not there. In I can't theory. speak too much. But in theory, I feel like just getting your, just get, just getting everything set and learning everything about the campus on your first semester is very important. Just so you can just feel at home, because that, that's what you should feel when you go to school, honestly. Especially at CA. I mean, at other schools, you it's like you don't have that that net of like all these teachers. All exactly. These, like, yeah. Faculty yeah. trying to help you. Yeah. Here, you if even if you do fail, there's always like a backup. And exactly. it's very hard to fail at CA because yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always, you, will, you will be either constantly nagged about doing X, Y, and Z, mm-hmm. or you will be, like, help pushed up. Exactly. And honestly, one of the best things about CA, you know, I keep on saying best things because there's, there's just so <laughs> many best things about CA, is that it's just, like, the community and, like, welcome, welcoming feel, I guess you could say. Like, 
you just walk into the office and the principal is like, hey, and all the teachers like, hey, it's just like, it feels so great that all these different faculty members acknowledge you and know your name and stuff like that. Because those little things are some of the stuff that you couldn't get at your regular high school. Like in my old high school, I've never sat down and talked to my principal one on one. <laughs> but here, I could just walk in and I, I could just say hi to principal hey good and she knows my name and everything. So it's just like a wonderful feeling. I, yeah. I love it. And uh, something else I quite prize is the ability to just walk around. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah, it's a beautiful campus. You're not like, constricted to a building. Yeah. Or at, a few, yeah. Like at high school, you finish your class and you have to walk immediately to your next place. You're just on a line. Here, in the 15 minutes between classes right next to each other, I can hang out. I can walk around. Exactly, yeah. Have you explored the campus any yeah. in your semester year? Of course, yeah. You know, my favorite spots, Subway, you know, the ICs. It's a classic. Incoming juniors, make sure to stop by Subway and get those slushies. Supposedly, then, now this is this is hearsay. They're going to remove the Smoothie no. King, and they might get rid of the Subway. No. And, and they're going to remove the Smoothie King from the Starbucks, like, next semester. Oh, oh you know, man. that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Who knows? This that's is all bad. hearsay. We but that... Then we'd, have a dunk- we have all last. then we'd have a Duncan and a Starbucks. True. And true, walking true, true. distance. I think they'd be like warfare between it's like, them. It's like North and Central campus, like yeah. beef all over again. Uh, there's not North and South. Yes, we are all oh, one school. Yeah, that's, I take back what I said. That's not what I meant. I'm not going to cut that out. But you yeah. guys, no beef. It's ju- beef between the juniors and the seniors. That's why you're there. It's all love. It's all love. We're here. It's yeah. all love. <laughs> you can't see it. There's a glass pane mm-hmm. between us. The... Okay, moving on. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, we don't have any more questions prepared. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's been lovely having you on here. Thank you so much. Of it's course. a pleasure. Thank all right. You. All right. Thank yeah. you, guys. Guys, no guys, this, oh, is the, this is the end of the podcast. Yeah. Dia, what's going on? Okay, what's going on? Juniors, your SAT day is coming up on SAT. March 1st. Be there. Be there. You, SAT. SAT. This guy, SAT. he's got to be there. SAT. You're going to meet him. SAT. Uh, seniors, continue to update your Naviance. Be smart Check your lives. emails. Check them. College acceptances, Check. scholarships. Yeah. Let us know. Write that stuff Let in. Let us know. Uh, everyone, make sure you follow College Academy Instagram. Boom, boom, boom. Make sure at, at, at college dot academy. Instagram. Instagram. C.A. Thomas On the Instagram. Now. Oh. And ask him. All right. C.A. Talks Instagram at C.A. Talks, Talks Podcast. podcast. Instagram. On Instagram. 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 That's going to give you updates on when episodes come out and welcoming events. Welcome. Be there. Make sure welcoming me for the Instagram. new one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Stay safe, everybody. Okay. Big stuff's coming up. Big stuff. Big stuff. Big stuff. You guys are going from students to adults. Or from students mm. to older students. Exactly. Wait. We're here. We were live. And now we're going to leave you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs>